Hello everyone and welcome to another ESL Go For video in Project Cars 2. We're on the PC again and this is the end of the qualifier and as you can see I'm in first place so we've made it into the semi-final. Uh, we're at Catalonia so a circuit we know but it has changed from P Cars 1 to P Cars 2. Uh, and look at that semi-final. We've got Kaki in pole position, Pops in second, I'm in third, Matty in fourth. Uh, and uh, yeah we are in the Ferrari again as you can see. Uh, so what's this semi-final going to bring us? Uh, we've got the, uh, my, you got my face back in the videos, basically my PC case has had a bit of an issue, but you can just see there, somebody's in an Audi, so not everybody's in the Ferrari, uh, we've got trash in the Audi, and as we head towards the first corner, the Audi four-wheel drive, I'm assuming it's a four-wheel drive in this game, gets good acceleration off the line there, dives down the uh, sort of middle of two cars, and manages to get that position, so I've now dropped to four position, from third position, uh, as we come around the long right-hander. So at this point, I'm trying to think, okay, I'll settle down for a couple of laps and then I'll go for it again. Remember, top six qualify for the final, so I don't necessarily have to go for it, but I do want to try and make positions and have a good bit of uh, overtaking. So as I leave this corner, I prepare for the next corner. I'm thinking, okay, no problem. I'm just going to turn in here. And Insane goes for a really late dive bomb there, so I dived out the way a little bit. I have to completely come off the, pow uh, the power. Now, I did speak to Insane after. It's his first ESL, so fair play for the good move there. Uh, it's good if you have good drivers. So, obviously, I was looking at my rear view, and I was aware of that. But in the ESL, that can be a bit tricky. So, I just mentioned to him afterwards that, you know, in a lot of cases in the ESL, that could end up as an accident. Because not everybody is super aware going into that corner, especially with late moves like that. But even so, he did the move, so he's now into fourth place. I've dropped another place, so it's not going well at the moment in this semi-final. Uh, I've got my teammate behind me, and then behind him, he's under a bit of pressure from uh, Luca Ruby. Uh, but we push on all the same. And we're going to try to get some of these positions back here. Uh, because we don't like to sit in fifth place. We want to win these races. Uh, but we also want to make the finals, so we're not going to go too risky. Um, but we are going to uh, make some moves all the same. Um, so we're just going to come around this last corner, and then we're going to advance the video a little bit. Uh, just because, you know, <laughs> while I am putting pressure on, nothing huge happens. You can see Matty's right behind me. He's lost all the pressure from Luca Ruby, so while Matty is my teammate, uh, I know he's not going to make any stupid moves, so I can focus a bit more on Insane in front, and as you can see, Insane runs slightly wide there, coming out of that corner, so I'm going to go to the right side, he protects the inside line, which is all very good, uh, and as we come into this left-hander now, oh, just a bit of contact, so he outbroke himself just a tiny bit there, uh, caused a bit of damage, uh, and we continue on. So I am trying to look to get this position because, I'd say, I don't want to stay in fifth. I want to make some moves. Uh, and I feel I'm going quite slow as well. Um, I feel I've got a lot more pace in the car. Uh, and I do based on the semi-final. So Insane was the one person who qualified with me from my qualifier. Uh, if you saw that at the start of the video. Um, and I was eight seconds ahead. So I do feel I've got some pace in there to compete with Khaki, Popsu and everything else. As we come down the uh, start finish straight now, you can see he's trying to break the slipstream. Because I've got that little bit of damage, it is costing me a little bit of speed. <laughs> We've got a bit of weaving there. It looks awesome on the TV camera that when all three cars do that. Uh, and as we come into the first corner, uh, you can just see the car wiggling a bit. And that's going to be a bit of a talking point in this video. So, you might remember Red Bull Ring. I was struggling with the braking. Now, ESL have changed the time now. So, we've gone from 3 o'clock qualifying, 4 o'clock race to 1 o'clock qualifying, 2 o'clock race. Um, so it's a bit better, a bit more grip. Um, we're still on hard tyres. Uh, but I still find the car's a bit loose on the braking. Now, I've actually gone um, away after the ESL to change what my ABS setting is. Because I'm currently on weak in this ESL video that you're watching right now. I'm on weak. Uh, and I've actually put it back to high again. Or I think it's low and high, sorry, in Project Cars 2. I've actually put it back to high and it does feel a bit better. So I'm going to keep it high for now. Um, because I, I could actually go, much, well not hugely quicker, but a little bit quicker, and it was more stable, as you see, Insane running wide again, so I'm obviously going to try the same move this time, um, but I obviously, I'm not going to go wide this time, because of what happened last time, I'm going to try to do the undercut, I'm expecting him to run uh, deep, uh, this time he doesn't, and he protects it really well, that's a really good defensive move, and he sort of anticipated what I was going to do, uh, I protected that line, but he's just running a little bit wide there, you see how close I am, uh, and he's going to run wide there. I noticed that we're both running wide, so I left it off completely if you saw the uh, green bar there. Uh, so now I've got Matty behind me, but now I'm worried about slipstream and the engine damage, because obviously Matty's behind me. 
Matty is going to want to make that move. So uh, what you're going to actually see is me actually lift off a little bit here when Matty goes for the move. Uh, just because um, I don't want any competition. You can see Matty flash me. It's nice that you can see that in the rear view mirror in this game. In P-Cars 1 you couldn't see the flashing. You can here. So I broke a little bit there. Made a little bit of a mistake. So now Insane's got a really good run on me. Go to the inside. Protect that line. And uh, Matty's got that position. So I just come in behind Matty. Because I've got engine damage I don't want to... Oh well, it's not engine damage. It's just damage generally. I don't want to hold Matty up. So that's half the reason why I let him go. I spoke to him afterwards. He was like, you didn't have to let off. I was like, I'd wanted to. Uh, but we just advanced a bit further in the semi-final. So we're on lap number six of eight. So a lot's gone on. We've been in this big battle for most of the race now with Insane and Matty. And once again, we're coming into this first corner. It's insane looking on the inside. I do give him a bit of space there. Uh, I still have the Project Cars one, you know, with the contact bug in my mind. Matty, I'm not sure whether he lets me go or just runs wide there. Um, but I then come on the inside and then I accelerate through. Uh, and because I know I've got the pace and it's the start of the lap essentially, I know I'm going to pull away quite quickly here. Uh, but Matty's also pl placed it insane as well, so I'm not sure whether it was a mistake or not. Uh, I never really asked him actually to find out, so who knows. Uh, but we're in fourth position. Uh, Trash in the Audi is in third, Popsu's in second, and Kaki's in first. I'm not really going to catch these guys, they're five seconds ahead. Um, so I just now go advance the video to lap number eight, and you can see I've pulled a gap to Insane and Matty, and uh, we are heading towards the line to finish in fourth position. And uh, we've made the final once again. So that's all awesome and good. You can see some of the best laps there. Uh, we've got 143.7, 143.9. Uh, mine's a 144.8, but that's just because I only got clean at the end of the race. And tyre wear and fuel um, usage is on. So this is the final. Look at the qualifying there. 133.2. Then a 0 .3, 0 .3, and I got 0 .5. I was on for a 0 .2 twice in that qualifying. Really, really annoying. Uh, in the practice, I did 0.2s, uh, and when ABS is on high, uh, I definitely do 0.2s. I instantly did a 0 .2, so I know there's actually 142s in there in that qualifying session. Even so, we start with the race now. So I'm starting in fourth position. Matty's got a brilliant start to my right hand side. You can see the gap is 0 0.0 on the bottom right. Uh, so as we head into this first corner, I know Matty's there. Um, I don't, like you just spotted him there slightly. He just runs a little bit wide there, but I see that so I can react to it. We're side by side through here. We then go <laughs> towards the right hander and the long right hander. There's pairs all the way through the field here. Uh, but as we come out of here, I am worried about ping distance. Again, the ping, uh, P cars 1 coming into play. So I'd stay to the left here just because of the ping distance. I didn't want to have contact with Matty. Uh, and as I come around here, uh, I just lose the rear end. It's the first time I've uh, lost the rear end there. Spin. I don't get any damage, but look on the left hand side in a minute there's a car on its roof so uh, I do feel sorry for James there there's been a big accident and uh, yeah we're down to 10th place but one thing I always say with this channel and in any race never ever ever give up and we're not going to give up we've got no damage here we can still make some positions uh, remember ESL is all about points so Speed Demon is in an Acura GT3 uh, I can tell he's got major damage because I caught up to him way quicker, uh, quickly uh, and it, apparently the car that was actually on its roof actually landed on Speed Demon so that's why he's got a ton of damage so up to ninth position now we're going to keep pushing as hard as we can. Uh, next up is going to be Steven, Jardia and Insane. You can see them battling there as we advance to lap number four. Uh, and you can see now we've caught up to them fairly quickly. Uh, so, you know, we're not losing a lot of time either. So if you look to at the top left, it's, we've only lost like a second to the leaders. So we have been pushing quite hard. But obviously, we're going to lose time to the leaders uh, when we start the battling, of course. So we've got three drivers here. We know VP Steven from previous ESLs. Uh, I don't really know Jardier. Uh, and of course, we've been racing insane throughout the entire of this ESL go for. Um, so as we come through here, I've got a really good run. We're going to have four cars in a train now. A slipstream train uh, as uh, we start lap number five. So what we're going to do with Steven. He's got slipstream as well, so I can't really do much at the moment. Insane there. Looks like he's got damage. He has to pull to the right a little bit. So I'm going to... Pull back a little bit side by side there. There could be action. Uh, but everyone sticks to the same. Steven runs slightly wide. I think of the undercut. Then Steven goes to the left a bit. Now I go to the right. So I make another position there. Um, I'm not sure whether Steven let me go a little bit there. Not sure. Um, but uh, all the same. We made the move nice and clean. I know Steven's a good clean racer. So fair play to him. So now we're going to look at Insane and trying to make a move on Insane again. Um... As you can see, he runs a little bit wide. We know we've got the pace on the Insane. It's his first ESL. Uh, he's doing a blimmin' good job, though, so fair play. And if you're watching this video, fair play as well. Uh, friendly guy, so uh, we'll probably see him in more videos in the future. 
Uh, but we're going to work our way past. So you can just see as well in front of Jardia, Matty is losing a bit of pace. So I know Matty's got damage at this point. So possibly more positions that we can make. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. We've got to get past Insane first. Uh, as we come through the right-hander. I know we were struggling. he was struggling here earlier, remember? He's doing it okay at the moment. So he goes to the right. He knows I'm really close here. You can see that on the TV camera. Look how close I am. I go to the inside. But we break about the same distance. So I can't really dive bomb into the... Um, and uh, he keeps that position. I actually lose a bit of time there because I bogged down in second gear. Have to drop it to first and back up to second. That corner is a bit tricky. So if you nail it perfectly, it's a second gear corner. Otherwise, it's normally a first gear corner. So interesting. Um, you can see we're all catching up to Matty at the moment. So Matty really is struggling. Insane runs wide there at the chicane. Um, but I'm a bit too far back to make any moves on that. As we then come towards uh, the last corner, three we go, and towards the start finish line, start again. And once again, it's a slipstream break. Here we go with the train straight across to the right. And then we're going to try and make the move. He's not got the slipstream of Jardia here. So I go to the left. That may be a mistake there by him. He probably should have stayed in the Jardia slipstream because it is within a second. Uh, as we come into the first corner. So I give him just enough room on the right hand side. But I've got the run. Now I'm on the inside for the left. And we make that move. So that is up to seventh position now. And we're going to look towards Jardia now for sixth position. As I say, we've got the pace to do this. Uh, and you can see Jardia's caught up to Matty now. So we've had a little bit further in the lap. Still the same lap. Uh, and we are gaining time all over the show. Uh, and you can see up ahead as well uh, on the map, we're coming up to the lap car. So that's Speed Demon after he's been in the pits. And uh, Pop 2's in front of him. Bit too far away for now. So we're just going to focus on trying to get this fifth place. That'll be a good result coming back from the back of the field after that uh, uh, on first lap incident and you can see how close we are. I can see Matty struggling uh, as we come out of the last corner once again and we're going to start heading towards the line start lap number seven. Can we do a double? Can we do a double? Look at the slipstream here. Straight over. I know what's going to happen straight away. Everyone behind as well. So Matty's got a bit damaged. Jardia's now got no slipstream. I've got double slipstream into the single slipstream. Go to the left hand side as we head towards the first corner. Break in. I break a tiny bit later than Jardia here. I give him just enough room on the inside. Maybe a little bit uh, too tight but as I went to the left there he just turned just as I turned so we got a little bit of contact that obviously forced me right a little bit but fifth position how are we doing there so I noticed in the top left pop two has a plus one second uh, penalty so we've got five laps can we gain five seconds get within that gap who knows um, but look on the map on the left now you can see pop two's had a little bit of a moment and he's losing a lot of time so now the mission is on. Can we catch up to Popsu before the end of the race? Now, I was pushing insanely hard now at this point. I was trying to go for like qualifying laps with worn tyres. Uh, obviously, the car's getting a bit lighter, which is kind of nice. Uh, but, yeah, I, I was pushing so, so hard. But we're going to advance a little bit further now. And as you can see, we are getting closer now. We're one and a half seconds behind Popsu. And we have one lap after this to go. Can we do it? As you can see, I'm pushing. This is worn tyres and I'm up on my lap time. That's how hard I've been pushing um, all this time. So people are obviously losing time. Um, also as well, if I push Popsu, can he gain another penalty? Get that plus one to plus two. Means I gain a position. Who knows? But as I said, I'm pushing really, really hard. So you're going to see the final lap here of absolute insane pushing. So you can see I'm cutting, <laughs> I'm cutting the chicane just enough where I don't get a penalty uh, and just enough that I can keep pushing as hard as I can. So as we uh, head towards the start finish line, so you can see bottom right, it's saying about 2.2. Top left, it's saying under 2, but about 1.4, 1.5. tenths. can we do it? Let's try. So we come into the first corner. I'll give you a bit of track guide at the same time. It's third gear. You can see the car wobbling a bit. You can see I'm having to come off the brakes back on. That's fixed now. Now I've gone to the higher ABS setting. That seems to have sorted that a lot more. You still have to do that a little bit, but even so, um, it has fixed it a little bit in the stability. So hopefully I can go faster in the next one. We're heading towards this corner now. This is always a point in towards the corner. It's a long right-hander and trail break in. This is actually a second gear corner, not third gear, but as the tyres have been worn, it, it does become third gear. You can see we're still up on our time, so we are pushing really hard here. We're down to about 1.2 seconds behind, 1.3 seconds perhaps. Um, obviously, that gap fluctuates as the Constantina effect comes in on the corners as we head towards this corner. This corner is the same as from Project Cars 1. You're just going to break and try and use the kerb on the left. And as we come through here, you can see how much I'm pushing full throttle. I get a bit sideways. There. Loses me a bit of time there uh, as we come to this right hander. Again, this is where you want to clip the curb and then use as much of the exit as you want, really. You might get slowed down, you might not. It doesn't really matter when you come to this corner. It sort of disappears anyway if you come off the 
uh, all pedals for a little bit longer. As you come in, yeah, you see the car sliding. You see we're getting a lot on Pop 2 there. He's really struggling in that corner. As we come through this last sector, you get the bump there. That's not as violent as it was in Project Cars 1, so you can use that. It kind of looks nice on the TV camera. You can see we're two temps up on our time here. A bit of oversteer there. Cost me a bit of time. As we come into the right hand, that same as in Project Cars 1 there. And then we're going to break just before the shadow into the left and into the right. We're going to full throttle this as fast as we can out of here with the worn tyres. Now, look top left hand side <laughs> at the times. It's around a second. Around a second. Look at that. It's ridiculous. At this point, I'm thinking, have I done it? I'm just under a second there. Have I done it? So you can see my face. Have I done it? Have I? Have I got fourth? Have I not? Have I got fourth? You can see the lap times there. 144.5. Not too bad. Man gate turn. Jesus there. Got some good times. I didn't do it. Less than a tenth. How close is that? So yeah, unfortunately I didn't do it, but what pushing that was. Um, I hope you enjoyed that race and my commentary for out of it. Uh, I don't normally commentate on all of it, but I thought that would be quite a good one to do and talk through my mindset. No, the pl video playlist there, if you want to watch any more videos of the ESL, my logo's there if you want to subscribe. Leave a comment if you like, uh, if you want to talk about anything, or thumbs up if you liked it. But that's it for now, I'll see you next time.